Good morning. It's Saturday, off work. <clears throat> We're out here. We've had a lot of rain the last week. We've had, um, I think, 10 and a half inches since last Saturday. So it's a lot. We had four inches one night. That was a hurricane, I don't know, most lightning thunder I think I've ever heard. It was just flash, boom, flash, boom for like an hour. <clears throat> We're out here in the garden today. It's, it's real muddy, but we've got to get these tomatoes tied up. We've We've done some previously, we got some footage of that. one we, we tied it off on the post down here and we, we've gotten behind so I don't know how it's gonna work out but we go around like this one's tied on my side and we come past it and then I'm going on the opposite side of the next one so it's just weaving in and out so we're gonna go down through here and tie these up like this like I'm on this side of this one catching it and what we'll do we'll go down to the next post and we'll wrap around and we'll come back and when I get back to this plant, I'll be just alternating. So it's kind of like you got the plant is trapped in between the string. And like I said, I've got some other video of when they were smaller when we first started doing this. But it'll be like this. You can see. So when I come back, I'll be on this side. So it's kind of got the, the plant between the strings. Seems to work pretty good. It doesn't take as much time as tying up each individual tomato. But you still got to stay after it. So we're going to get this to all tied up. Okay, wrapped off. Now then, I came by, I went on the far side of this plant, so now I'll come back on this side. Get it pulled up, cinched up. And now we're to the next plant. This is where I'll go back over to the other side. Wrap it off again at the post. And we'll come up about five inches, six inches, and do it, go again. Touch it up real good. And tie it off. Plain old overhand knots. All I'm, but all I know, is all I use for everything. Got them all tied up. 
Best tip I can give is what I've learned so far in this process is you need to stay ahead of them and not behind them. It was a kind of a chore. We did three runs, I think, today to get them all caught back up. They were hanging everywhere. And of course, as you can tell, it's, it's kind of warm today, just a little bit. Um, so like always, just please like us, like, subscribe, and look for us on Facebook at Our Green Acres. And look for, if you like, you can look for a link because hopefully all these tomatoes in this rain, they'll come in and we can make some, I want to be posting a big salsa making video. Hopefully we'll have a big process with that, but we'll have to wait and see. Like always, just, we thank y'all and appreciate it. And catch you next time. You got to go on the opposite side of this one. And it's eight foot tall. And it's a mess. Help them. Yeah, I always need lots of help. Hey, kitty cat. I need my string back. Hello? Hello? We're using this. Hey, I'm only going to be young once, okay? I know you're wanting to help, but this is ridiculous. Okay. You need to go do something else. This is turning into a darn cat catastrophe. Giddy cat, let's go. Say bye-bye.